This is a tutorial to show you how to use remote desktop connection from a Windows computer to access another Windows computer. Um, this is helpful if you're working from home, maybe you want to access your office computer to run some programs or access some files or uh, whatever your needs are, um, it's great because you can control your office computer from your home Windows computer. One thing to note is that you will need to be using NMSU VPN and be connected. Um, so that's this Cisco AnyConnect mobility client. Um, if you don't know how to use VPN or how to set it up, um, I'm going to put a link in the description to a walkthrough guide of how to install and configure NMSU VPN. So go ahead and check that out if you've never used VPN before. Um, if you have, great. Either way, make sure you're connected to VPN first before you try to do this. So we're just going to go over here into the Windows search bar and we're going to type the word remote desktop and you can see the app shows up for me. If for some reason you can't find it in search, you can go to start and right on down to Windows Accessories and Remote Desktop Connection. So you're going to click that up and this little blurb is going to come up and say, hey, what computer do you want to connect to? Um, that's where you need to know the host name of your office computer. If you don't know the host name of your office computer, um, it's pretty easy to find out. Um, all you would do is on the computer that you're trying to remotely access, you would open a command prompt. So I just typed in CMD and it pops up for me. And all you do is type the word hostname. And so you can see the hostname of my computer is coeit jacobha Your hostname might be something like coe your last name or coe your username. Um, or it could be something like your building name. So it might be something like EC3 205 01 or something like that. Either way, you need to know the host name of the computer you're trying to remote into before you proceed. So as long as you know that, you are good to go. So all you have to do is type in the host name of the computer you want to connect to. And so I'm just going to use an example here in Thomas and Brown. So um, that's noted by our, our own computers. I'm going to remote into a lab computer just to show you how this works. So all I have to do is type in the host name, and that's the host name for that computer and then click connect. And um, it might pull up whatever credentials you have. Be careful here because a lot of times it's going to be your your local username and password. So you're just going to want to click more choices and click use a different account. And here's where you're going to use uh, your MyNMSU username and password. So we're going to type ACN backslash your username and then your MyNMSU password. And then we're just going to click OK and it's going to connect. And so you'll see up here on the top that I'm now connecting to this computer and uh, it's going to load up my profile and log me in. So we'll just give it a second and wait for it to connect. And I'm in. So right now this is actually controlling the computer um, in the lab right now remotely and so you know it's great because um, on my computer I might not have you know, a program like MATLAB or something like that. And um, what's great is I can easily launch any program that's on the lab computer or in your case on your office computer and use it as I need it. Um, so that's a pretty useful feature. Um, you can remote, you know, anytime that you'd like. Uh, it's pretty easy to get out. You can um, go down here to this Windows button if you want to log out and end your session. And um, the little power option here it's going to give you an option that says disconnect. Okay, I'll show you one more time. So that's just down here in the left-hand corner when you're done with your session, the power button, and disconnect. And that's going to disconnect you from whatever computer you're connected to, and you're back to your home desktop. Um, so it's a great feature. Once again, check out the VPN tutorial if you haven't already, and that's how easy it is to remotely access your Windows computer if you're using a Windows computer at home.